so today is a bit of an exciting one actually. Well, I'll just stop over here, show you the nice view. Today's a bit of an exciting one. I'm back down actually at a business park where I, where I originally had a premises here, um, starting from about eight years ago. It's right over, right off the back of my shoulder here. Um, it was up on the second floor. Uh, I think it's like, you go above the door, I think it was two along. So it was that wee office up there, that's where my business started about eight years ago. Actually, I'd been, I'd been working from home for a couple of years at that point, but that was the first step into a premises. Um, and then from there, I'll just walk along a wee bit. I'll swing you around. After a, after a wee while, it got, it, got, uh, it got too small and I made a bit of a jump up to a bigger premises. It was actually a massive jump up. I moved up to about <laughs> like five or six hundred square feet. It was a big place and it's just over the back here, Unit 38. At that point it was called actionstation.co um, before we changed the name to Bob Gnarly Surf. Um, so let's have a point over there. Number 38, it's the third unit along. And uh, that was a really big place actually. Um, so up until, I was in there until about like, what, three years ago, thereabouts? And uh, the business had a wee bit of a hard time financially. Um, so we built out of that and moved to a slightly smaller place and then moved from there again back to the house. And it was actually a wee bit of a godsend that, that um, because at that point, um, shortly after that point anyway, was when this whole COVID situation hit. And there was obviously a lot of uncertainty about uh, um, about uh, you know how, how how well the business would survive throughout that time and thankfully it survived and really thrived as well you know um, because throughout the whole covid situation there was people were uh, during lockdown there was a a big uptake on water sports so we ended up uh, doing really well out of it thankfully you know and um today this new year marks the end of uh, like a period where we said we'd hold out until things settled down and uh, then think about a uh, new premises. So I came back down to the old place, you know. Um, first of all, because uh, I was having a wee look at a couple of these ones just coming up here. You'll see them. It's a lovely spot actually because it's right on the riverside. And actually when I was here, when I was here um, a few years ago, I watched that bridge getting built. It was, uh, they never used to be there. Um, but uh, it's come like Sunderland Spire or something it's called. Nice bridge, if you like bridges. <laughs> I'm not a big fan, like, but I mean, they do their job. Anyway, number, what, 47, 50, 53, 56. These are all ones I've been looking at. I don't know if any of them are empty at the minute. So you, you, you can often be on a waiting list for this place because it's actually very, very well equipped and it's got a nice kind of central hub. Um, but they're not officially shops, you know, they tend to, they tend to suit like um, internet only businesses. So what I'm going to do after this, I'm going to pop over to um, a couple of places I was scoping out on the internet. Um, a couple of estate agents had uh, some retail premises up, up for lease. And the price is actually a lot better, you know, than, uh, than here. And I actually thought as well, it'd be nice to have like a shop front. Um, not necessarily to be open like, uh, you know, seven days a week, but at least for a place for people to come in and like try on wetsuits and things like that. Um, uh, try out boards and, and because I've actually been at home um, selling from home I haven't been able to stock surfboards I've had the bodyboards in but uh, it's a bit tricky having <laughs> taken deliveries of hundreds of bodyboards when you've got a small house and not not many places to put them you know so um, that'll actually be better because I've made uh, contact with the likes of um, the Catch Surf distributor here in the UK and we're going to be stocking Catch Surf um, what else Carver skateboards um, Sector 9 boards um, and then we already have the kind of beginners brands like Osprey and uh, TWF as well here in the UK. So, you know, so that's, that bodes well, really. Um, I'll walk back up towards the old unit. Um, so I thought I'd bring you down, you know, because uh, for me this is a really exciting time, you know, again, because that was quite a difficult period when, when we had to sort of bail out the premises and we had a few issues financially, you know. Um, <laughs> created a lot of anxiety and a lot of worries at the time. Um, but uh, we've been patient and we've stuck to our plan and uh, everything's sort of back on track now. So today was just a wee first kind of scope around, you know, and see what was available. Um, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to opt for the, uh, the actual shop unit, I think, um, and have more of a storefront. So I think that'll pr probably give me like a bit more um, presence in Sunderland, you know, um, chance for to build a wee bit of a, a following in the kind of local area. Because there actually isn't any surf shops in Sunderland. Um, it's like a scuba shop, um, 
the nearest one is up at a place called Tymouth. They've got a couple of shops up there. I think there's another one further south, but nothing actually in um, Sunderland itself. So that's actually really good. Um, so right, I'm heading back to the car now and uh, I'll pop over at the other place and I'll catch you when I get there. All right, we'll have a wee look. Right, let's come take a look. These two are actually one of the first two places I found online last night. Prices are really reasonable actually. So that's the first place just over there. You see the toilet sign outside it. That's about 350 square feet. I'll see if I can get across this road. Right, so that's the first one. It's obviously empty at the minute. I'm gonna take a wee walk around the side as well. So it's all security fenced. So quite exciting actually, you know, because um, like I said, it's been a couple of years I've been having to operate the business from home, which has been a bit of a struggle. It, well, actually it's not been a struggle. It's been very, very busy, thankfully, throughout the COVID situation, but uh, um, it's been, it's presented its own challenges, as I said, you know, trying to sort of fill the house with stock and, and, uh, and live there at the same time. Kay's been really patient with me. So let's have a look. That's the first one. The next one's actually just a few doors down, down here. Um, seems to have used to have been an antique store. You see that? Number 78. So, on the back across the road and get a better view. Right, there we go. The second one is about um, is about 500 square feet. It's actually got like a, um, a WC at the back and also a, like a staff area um, with quite a lot of space up front of the shop, you know, so really good. That's the choice of two. It's either that one at the end or that one there. Not a great difference in the price for the units. So it's just a case of which one you think would be best. I think I'd probably go for the one that's slightly more expensive and uh, get the more space. So there you go. <laughs> Excellent. Now's the time. Well done. Well done. Massive, I'm not missing where I play a trunk up board.